Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and in this video, we're going to take a look at SNS. Uh, so SNS is very uh, straightforward to use. It's a simple notification service. Um, it does have a lot of different kinds of endpoints that we can utilize, but we're going to do this programmatically as per usual. I already have my environment opened up. I'm using Gitpod. You use whatever you want. You will have to install the AWS CLI, uh, set your credential, set them as environment variables, because that will make your life a lot easier. I'm going to make a new folder here called SNS. And so we will go and I guess use CloudFormation because this is so simple that there's no reason for us not to use it. I do believe that we can set up SNS via um, uh, SAM as well. So if we look up SAM SNS here, I believe it's part of this. And uh, I mean, we can set it as an event source for a function. So that's something that we could do. So I'm kind of tempted to utilize that. So maybe what we'll do is we will um, make a, a function that is triggered by SNS. I think that would be kind of interesting because under event source, we can um, uh, specify that. So let's go take a look here and see if they already have an example. That'd be really nice if they did. SNS, mm, not exactly, but let's go ahead and just first create our queue the standard way. And then we'll consider converting this over to um, uh, SAM, SAM CLI templates, which we cover in the Lambda section if you are not no, don't know what I'm talking about right now. We'll go ahead and type in template YAML as per usual. I'm going to just grab something. I got too many tabs here from previous. I'm going to just close them all. And I just need something from a previous project. So I'm just looking for the first two lines here. To get us started. Excellent. This will be um, SNS basic. And we'll type in resources as per usual. And we'll go here and grab our SNS topic. This one looks a little bit more complex than it has to be. So we have our SNS topic here. So uh, SNS topic. We can specify subscriptions. I think that these can also be specified separately, if I recall. So we can uh, have them in line, or we can um, have a subscription there. So that's kind of interesting. Just pull this down. And uh, so here we might want a topic name, but I think all we need to do to create a queue is this. That's it. Okay, so let's go give that a try. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new file, a new file here. This will just be deploy. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab maybe this one here. That looks fine. We'll paste this in here. This will be SNS basics, deploy SNS. I'm going to go ahead and type in clear. And we'll go back a, le a level. SNS basic deploy. We'll do a chmod on that. I don't think it knows what it is. So we'll first CD into the SNS basic directory. Then we'll chmod it. So we'll say u plus x SNS. Uh, oh, sorry, deploy. <laughs> and then we'll just trigger our deploy here. But I, I think that's all we need in order to um, actually create that. So hopefully that is the case. We'll go over to CloudFormation here. And we'll go to here, go to change set, and we will execute this change set. There we go. And we'll just wait a moment for that to take place. That was very quick. So it has created the SNS queue. We'll go over to SNS and we'll take a look. In place messaging and replay for F uh, FIFO topics. That's cool. There's FIFO topics now. Nice. They're always adding stuff on me here. So we have subscriptions, but we, what we have is our topic. So the idea is we have a topic here. And subscriptions is, um, if we go here, you can see that we can choose uh, what the protocol is. So we can send to Lambda, email, HTTP. We have a lot of options here. So it might be interesting to uh, hook this up to Lambda. And so um, what I'm thinking is that we'll do what I was describing, which is we'll hook it up to SAM because that's how we would do it. So uh, SAM stands for serverless application model. It's a way for us to um, uh, quickly write uh, mostly lambdas with ease. So in here under lambda, we'll go get our inline one because that's a very simple one. And we'll go to this template. We'll just merge it over into our current one. So even though we have that, we'll add in the transform. That's going to make this so that this works as a SAM template. And then we'll bring in our inline Lambda. And I'm actually just going to call this uh, Lambda because I, I, I can't stand seeing inline Lambda constantly. And so that should be sufficient for that to work. 
The uh, other part is we want to uh, specify the event source. So I can just bring this line over as well as I would like to have the serverless function. I usually put it right here. I'm not sure why I put it up there that one time. We'll click through to that. And so we're looking for SAM resource function. And here it says there's an event source, I believe. Event source. So events and event source. Okay, so we'll go here and we'll specify our events. And we have a lot of event sources. The one we're looking for is um, SNS. So we'll click into that. And so here we have an example of one. Um, do we have to make it and then reference it? Is that what they're telling us to do here? I guess so. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this quickly. Whoops. And we'll go down here for a second. I thought we would actually specify it in line there, but that's fine. Uh, we'll go back over to, uh, we'll go back one. So we'll go back again, event source. So properties type, we'll go down to examples. So we have our type, paste that in there, and then our properties, which is whatever it does. Okay, I mean, do we have an SNS example? I don't understand like why it was showing it at separately here then. Service function, events, event source, And then if we click here, does that just take us to that other page? Oh, okay, so it does. Oh, okay, so this is actually under events. Okay, great, I get it, all right. Um, so basically, yeah, I thought that's what originally was supposed to be. So we'll bring our events down here below the code, and then we'll just indent it like this. And so the idea is that uh, we can now reference our SNS. Uh, I wanna point this out because I didn't really talk about this when we were doing lambdas, but you can just put any kind of regular CloudFormation code here, but the transformation allows you to bring in other stuff, okay? Like the uh, the serverless function stuff. So here we have our SNS basic, uh, oh, sorry, that's the description, SNS topic here. And so we need to reference the um, the the handle or the uh, the topic. So we'll go look this up again, which is right here. It's gonna grab this so we can find it later if we need it. And uh, we'll go to return values. And so I wanna know if the reference is gonna be the RN and it is, so that is excellent. So we'll go down to here, ref. And this is just SNS topic, SNS topic. SQS subscription, no, we do not want an SQS subscription. That seems a bit silly, but let's go read and, what's, and see what options we have for this. SNS. Filter policy, the filter policy JSON assigned to the subscription. So I guess if we wanted to narrow down exactly um, what gets triggered, because you might not want it to trigger on every single case. That's what I'm assuming this, yeah, filter on unwanted messages. Okay, not worried about that today. Filter policy scope, not interested in that. Uh, redrive policy, whether to send it to a dead letter queue for SQS, not interested in that. The region, uh, I want the default here. Set the property to, uh, to enable batch SNS topic notifications into SQS. Okay, so I guess the idea is that if you had a lot of, of stuff coming to S SNS, it can send it to SQS. That's actually quite clever. I like that idea, but we don't need any of this stuff. So, I mean, it's interesting that this has a filter, so that's kind of cool, but I'm gonna go ahead and just take the rest of this out. And so this uh, should set up a Lambda. The idea is that when we trigger this uh, SNS topic, or wait a second, well, this actually, this wouldn't trigger it, would it? Well, let's deploy it and find out, I suppose. <laughs> Is this the event source, right? So this should be, no, this should be what triggers it. We're not gonna know until we deploy it. So um, that's set up. I wonder if we need anything else in here. We chose the inline one for, uh, for Lambda. And so this doesn't have a SAM config, so that's totally fine. We are going to need to install um, the uh, SAM CLI if you have not done so, so far. And I have a bin script in here. Uh, bin, whoops. Bin, AWS SAM CLI. You can just open that up if you're not sure how that works. 
It's very straightforward. We just took it from the docs and, and just got it to work. So it's just that. So uh, we have that. Um, I'm gonna CD back into, well, I never actually CD into it in the first place. We're now in the SNS basic. And I think all we, all we need to do now is do SAM build. So we're going to actually uh, build it. While I'm here, I'm just gonna check, does this actually specify Mm, no, I don't think it matters. Okay. I was just thinking like, do we need an S3 bucket? Because normally you have to specify one, but I don't think so in this case. So we'll go, I actually am just going to double check the deploy script for the uh, Lambda here. Because I just can't remember if there was some additional stuff in here. So we have our build. Yeah. And then we have our deploy. Oh, you know what? We just ran SAM build. So we actually should bring these scripts over. That's what I'm going to do. So we'll go ahead and we'll make a new folder in here. And I'll just call this bin. I'm gonna move our deploy script in here. And I actually want to uh, replace this one with uh, this deploy script, as this one is more capable for SAM. Notice it's using SAM to deploy as opposed to this other way. So before we proceed forward, I wanna go ahead and tear down the, um, uh, the CloudFormation template because we need to deploy it with SAM and not CloudFormation directly. Otherwise it's going to get confused, or at least I think it'll get confused. So we'll go back here and this looks fine. I'm gonna call this one just uh, SNS basic uh, Lambda. Yeah, we don't need a configuration here today. And I'll bring in the bin directory here. So we'll make a new file here called, or build, build. And that's in our Lambda here as well. So bring that over, copy, paste. We will go ahead and chmod those directories, chmod u plus x. This is uh, mucking up. I'm just gonna do a refresh here because Gitpod is uh, messing up on me here. All right, we are back. Uh, we'll go ahead and chmod u plus x bin all like that. So that is good. Uh, we'll do bin build. Template file not found in the basic template YAML all right, we'll just rename this to YML. Try this again. And the reason why we named it YML is because Sam generally favors YML and then everything else is YAML. Um, and we could probably rename it to YML, but I just don't want any weird side effects that we have to fight through. So I just know uh, out of habit to always make it YML for that one. We'll go into here. Um, this should automatically execute because we don't have to worry about the change set because Sam is ignoring it. And we'll just see if this actually creates, okay? All right, so this looks deployed. Let's go take a look at uh, SNS and see if it reflects anything in the UI. Um, I think this is gonna be mostly on um, the other side here, but if we go here, we have a subscription, it's confirmed, so we didn't have to confirm it. We'll click through to it and it goes to Lambda. So let's go take a look at our Lambda and see if it's the source. I believe it's the source. And if we go here and click through, yeah, so it is the source. That means that this should trigger it if we were to send something to this queue. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go back to SNS, okay? And the idea is that we want to trigger this. So let me think about this. Let's go over to the uh, AWS CLI SNS. Yeah, and so there should be a publish command. Send a message to the SNS topic. And so this is what we're looking for. And um, actually what's interesting is we could probably pass the first name and last name here. I wonder if how that would work, but we'll, we'll give that a go, okay? Yeah, so we'll just copy this code over here. We'll make a new, um, uh, uh, file here, we'll call it publish. Okay, we'll just paste our code in here. We'll need to grab the first two lines. I mean, there's only one command, so we don't really need to set hyphen E, but I'll put it in there anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and chmod that, chmod uh, bin basic. Oops, bin uh, publish, sorry, publish. And we do need to supply the message. Um, I mean, technically what we want to pass along is JSON. I'm not sure if we, 
and see what it requires here. So the message you want to send, if you're publishing a topic, you go to different messages, set the value for message structure to parameter. Okay, where's that? We'll go ahead and do this. Valid value would be JSON. Well, that's definitely something we want to do here. And we'll say JSON. And it'd be nice if we could just write it in line. I'm not sure if we're allowed to do that. I'm just going to try name. Like, we'll just say first name. Andrew Brown. Last name. Brown. So I'm trying to use the short syntax without having to specify file. We could specify file, and that's not a big deal either, but we'll just try this first and see what happens. So we'll go bin publish. Uh, oh, well, we need the, to the topic ARN. That's going to uh, be required. So we'll go back over to here. We'll grab the ARN, and we'll make our way back. I'm just going to refresh, make sure that this is the, yeah, it says lambda in the name, so that must be the one we're using. Close out these uh, windows here, so I have less of a mess. I'm going to paste this above, and we'll just say topic ARN. Okay. Publish. Message structure JSON body failed to parse. Okay. Um, so what we can do is, again, I'm just trying to not have to reference a file because I have to bring in more code if I do that. So what we'll do is just make this full JSON. Just take a moment here. And we will need to escape it. So we'll escape this one and this one and this one, all the, all these here. Okay, we'll try this again, bin publish. No default entry in the, in the JSON message body, no default entry. Okay, give me a second here. All right, so asking ChatGPT for the structure, it's starting to make sense to me that uh, there's something that's very structured here depending on what it is. So maybe what we should do is look up the documentation here, message structure, JSON, uh, SNS, and see if there's one specifically for Lambda. So that's what I'm looking for here. Um, not exactly what I wanted. A to A, that's a new initial, initialization. They just keep making stuff up, eh? Let me go look for it, see if I can find it in the docs, okay? All right, so the docs weren't very helpful, but uh, ChatGPT is suggesting that we can just provide the message directly. Um, I guess we'll give it a go because it'd be nice if that just worked. I'm really surprised that they're not, uh, oh, they're using single quotations. I thought you couldn't do that. Well, we'll just try it. The question is, what will the event data look like on the Lambda side? Like, will it be uh, structured a little bit different? We don't know. But let's go ahead and try to publish this. Okay, so that worked, so it sent it off. Let's make our way over to our Lambda. And the idea is to see whether it's been triggered or not. The way we're gonna find out here is by going over to Monitor, and we'll open up our logs. And what we're looking for is something to log, because if it logs, that means it's been called. So we'll give it a moment here, and... We go down below and we have a log. I think that's recent. I don't like 24 hour time. I can never read it properly. It says, um, first name message equals hello. So maybe there's an issue with our code, with our Lambda. So let's go take a look at that under the actual template YAML file here. Uh, I don't think so. It looks fine to me. Let's go back and read the error. Uh, key name, key error name, first name. So I guess it's suggesting that this event does not exist. So what we can do to find this out is um, if I update this inline, it's not going to update. So normally you'd update it, but uh, we'll just have to do it manually here in the Lambda function. And so what I'm going to do is just redeploy this. Um, by, I'm just going to de deploy the code here in line, but we're going to print out the contents of events so we can actually see what's happening here. So I'm hoping that we just do this. They'll just print it. 
print event like this. And I'll say deploy. Okay, so now we'll go back here and we'll try this again. We'll send our message. And we will go back over to uh, CloudWatch here. I'll just click back one. And we'll give this a refresh. Notice we have a new log because there was a new deploy. And so now we can see the event source. So, because it's going to be a little bit different, I think. And just copy this so I don't have to read it uh, in, that, in that mess. I'm just going to make a new scrap file here so I can see what I'm looking at here. Um, maybe we can format this. So format JSON. I'll just ask to format this JSON. We could have provided to JQ, but it's just easier to put it in here. So we'll just let that format it really quickly. All right, there we go. So what I'm looking for is to grab this information. So we'll have to modify our code a little bit to get this to work. So we'll go back over to our template here. And the first thing is it has to grab the records. So we're going to go here and say event records. And then the next part it grabs is going to be SNS. I think that is correct. Yep. And so then in here, what I want is the message. Okay, and so uh, we'll say JSON convert uh, string to, uh, I guess, dictionary Python. And we'll find out what method it is. It looks like it's just loads, so we'll just import that. It's a um, standard library, so it should be, we should be able to include this without having to have a requirements.txt. We'll go ahead and grab the loads here. And I'm just going to go ahead and just say M for message. And this will be the message here. So this is a message string just to represent better what it is. And then over here, I'm just gonna put M and M. And so I'm just hoping that this works and I haven't introduced any mistakes. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. We'll go back over to here, paste it in here. It doesn't like that, control V. It's so stupid that it does that. You'll have to hit uh, shift tab to uh, fix the indentation there. We'll go ahead and deploy that. We'll trigger this again and see if this works. So we'll go back over to uh, here, another topic. We want to go over to CloudWatch and go back up a level. Every time we deploy, it's changing it, so it's not going to be in the same log group. And uh, here we have a slightly different error, so we're getting in better shape here. List indices must be integers or slices. So there must be like an array of records. Um, so I probably wasn't paying attention to that. If we go back over to ChatGPT here, yeah, it's an array. And so I'm looking for the first record. Probably what we'd want to do is iterate through that if there was multiple records being delivered. Uh, but I'm just going to keep it simple and make this zero for now. I'm just writing it here because we're going to uh, want to save this code for later. And I'll go ahead and just do this as such. And we'll deploy that again. It will wait for the deploy to finish. Excellent. We'll go back over to here. We'll go ahead and publish this. I'm going to make my way back over to here. And I'm going to refresh. I'll take, do we have a new one? Uh, I'm not confident with this, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these. I don't trust it. There it is. Sometimes it comes in a bit late, and I just deleted the older one. And what I'm looking for, let's say log this for me. Why is it saying that? Oh, is that like a, yeah, we have that there. But I want to see what the return message is. So can we actually observe this in here? I mean, it must be working, so that's that's good. The only thing is that uh, that return message is kind of useless because it's not returning to anything. Um, so I think in this case, we will probably want to change this, and we'll just make this so that it's printing out our message. There's nothing to return, so I'm just going to have an empty return on this. And we will deploy that. Hopefully, it doesn't mind that. I'm going to go ahead and just bring that code over here. We'll go ahead and save that. I'm going to go ahead and send a new message. We're going to go back over to CloudWatch logs. Oh, it did not just execute that fast, did it? 
Yes, it did. Okay, excellent. And so now our um, our stuff is working. So, you know, that is the basics of um, SNS. There's, of course, more that we can do with it, but I think that is sufficient for now. We'll go ahead over to um, CloudFormation. We'll just tear down our stack. There we go. I'm just going to commit my code. Let's just say SNS basic. And I will see you in the next one, okay? Ciao.